Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Well, I'm down here taking care of some rental properties, and I uh, got Michael over um, with the carpet layers, and he's taking care of business over there, and I've got a change uh, bathtub control uh, device. It's just worn out. It's time for a new one and um, get that stuff done so I can head on up the road. So I'll be doing our live stream tonight, nine o'clock Eastern. Can't wait to get there. So here's some interesting news that uh, Matthew Stafford looks to be out again. He's not practicing today and they're gonna let him heal up some more because well, he's got fractured bones in his back. The fact that you even think about the idea of having a guy play with broken bones in his back is just unbelievable, you know, when you think about it. Um, we know Tony Romo came back and, and did that and things, and you just have to worry about these guys' quality of life after they leave football. The things that they are doing are just unbelievable. Um, for us, of course, this is that time of year where it's basically a battle of attrition. Who can you keep on the field? And this is where your backups really become important. And we've got Jeff Heath, who's been our starter at safety for the last two years, um, is just nicked up too much to go. So Darian Thompson is gonna be going in his place. So all you people that have been hating on Jeff Heath, saying he's the worst safety in the world, and we've been trying to get somebody else in there, let's see what the young pup does. You'll remember, um, the opening game, I believe it was, against the Giants, where Xavier Woods knocked the ball out of a uh, receiver's hands, and uh, Thompson picked up the ball and things and ran with it a bit, and um, he's done some good things. He's looked pretty good in preseason and stuff, and now he's got some real action against the Detroit Lions, and with them basically going to a backup quarterback, that's, you know, time to get your first real action um, out there, so I'm looking forward to that. So again, Matthew Stafford looks to be out this Sunday. The Dallas Cowboys need to get themselves back on track. Of course, it's a no-win situation for them because if we win, they'll say, well, you only beat a team that you're supposed to beat without a quarterback, right? Um, even though the Eagles lost to this team. If you lose to them, they're going to say, of course, you just stink. Well, I, actually, if we lose to the Lions without Matthew Stafford, I, I'll say we stink. How about that? So, that's where we are. I don't know if I want to get into this now or not, but there's a thing that's perception versus reality. And I'm curious. I'm going to go ahead and ask this question now. And I'll read the comments before I do the part two of it. But who would you take a quarterback right now? Jimmy Garoppolo? Or Dak Prescott? It's a real question. After uh, seeing ESPN top quarterbacks under 30 that has Jimmy Garoppolo on the list, not Carson Wentz, not Dak Prescott, not Jared Goff, I'm curious of some of you fans if you would rather take Jared Goff, excuse me, Jimmy Garoppolo over Dak Prescott and why you would take him over Dak Prescott. That's what I want to know. Why would you take Jimmy Garoppolo, your reasons for taking him versus Dak Prescott? And then we'll look at the comments and see your reasons for which guy. You want to talk about Oh, sure. I, I can't seem to stop yawning. I don't know what's wrong with me. Whew. Tired, boss. I'm real tired. Hmm. All right. I'll see you soon.